Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I'm um, cleaning up the garage. Two days to do this, so we'll get back onto the Forester and finish up the coolant line for the turbos. Stay tuned. Alright, so I've got some of these dog legs, so I can make some wider ones in the back to match the the wider ones. Also, I've got my bonnet scoop there. I've got my original GT grill that I this is one of my first mods. My wide guard. Got my Batman costume. Right, guys, here is my old sub box. And the old Foz. So this used to be the back. Here used to have my Wii to 12 inches. I had a push pull system. I've got one left. I used to have a cadence. Two cadence wild beasts. I'll show you how they were mounted. Um, one was that way. This way. See, it's mounted a lot better. Yeah. So, that section, I'm um, still so used to be able to fold down the seat so I could still fit my snowboard in. Um, yeah. It's now gone, just take up the full um, spare wheel well too. But yep, that's finally going out. So all this expander foam. See me open up the back back um, tailgate. You would have seen some of this on the the tailgate, that's what it's from. Alright okay, guys, so I've swept all this out. Um, I'll probably end up putting all the custom panels back in this area. I might hang up the um, wide guard. Put in a couple of nails and just hang it up. But, um, I'm going to have a bit of a break. About 2.30 and it is Australia Day. So I might grab a beer. Here we go, we've got one panel up on the wall. Got a bit of work to do to that one. So, um, three fifty Z. My drift car. Oh right, guys, it's nine o'clock now. <laughs> Um, not finished yet, but it's pretty good. Um, my old block is going to scrap. A little suspension over there that's going to scrap. Um, haven't even worked on this area yet. I'm going to get it up in the stand and pull it apart and see what's going on. There's a PQ35 there, guys. If you didn't know, that APS. Canon is for free if anyone wants it in Melbourne. Pick up only. Then we've got 
custom panel stuff. Remote control. Yeah. See you soon. I guess it's a new day. And it's still clean. I'm gonna get stuck into the Forester and do that other um, turbo coolant line. Hmm. Takes coming off. Ooh. Try and get this bracket off here. Um, I put it on to get the engine in and out, but left it on and I can't get to waterline bolt for the banjo so oh that was hard hmm this is not going to work the braid line is too long oh made up a hose for it um, again it's the braided nylon black stuff so it's actually um, pretty tight on AN threads I know Shouldn't do this, but it's on there. I put one on the bottom and try to get it off without the clamp on it, and I really struggled. I had to actually unscrew the um, the hose from it, so it bites into it, clamped it. Hopefully, it's all good. Oh, that took forever. I'm gonna put it all back together, put some water in it. Hopefully, it doesn't leak. Or maybe I should put some water in it now. <laughs> Put some cooling in there now, guys. Actually, put quite a bit in. At least now. I don't know if it's coolant that's on the top of the block or not. Because I used to have blue stuff in there. And um, couldn't tell. Um, yeah, I'll keep filling that up. Bit of air in there. It's all back together now guys, it's got cooling in it. Let's start it up and uh, see if there's any leaks. We got a fuel leak from this one. Damn! What is that one? That's in. That's not good. That could have been really bad. Um, coolant looks good. It was 
steaming a little bit, but that's from when I took the, the bread line off. A bit of um, water went onto the exhaust housing of the TDO 5. I can smell this fuel now. So, next episode, guys fuel and breather. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this episode, give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. Catch you next episode. Bye.